today we're going to go over these 3D Logic brake levers. They're adjustable. And so we got some for the matrixes and then for the axis. So I got a purple for the purple sled. So that is the plan. I'm going to do a video on installing it. So to start with on these, they got uh, one, a retainer there, and two, a snap ring there. So we'll pull that pin out and that'll allow our brake lever to come out. So once you have that pin out, of course the brake lever comes out. So then we'll work on pulling that retainer so we can transfer the lock onto the new lever. So on that lock, there's a spring inside keeps it spring loaded so you just got to make sure you set it up correctly and then you can put it onto this lever and put the pin back in it with the clip and then reinstall it and for reference that's how the spring should sit in on the new lever so we'll put the retainer on so when you go to insert the lever you'll have to make sure you depress the plunger and then you can line it up put the pin in place once the pin's in place, you can put the snap ring on. And then once the snap ring's on, you get a functioning lever. And you can adjust it with that nut and bolt right there to bring it closer. I mean, you can ride with whatever finger you want. It's in a pretty decent position. You can always move the block. So just from out of the box, you can kind of see, so we'll just angle that thing a little bit. You can kind of see it's already closer, but you got a little, you got like an inch of adjustment there. I mean, on the screw, it's like quarter inch, but that comes out to about an inch out here. So you can get it pretty close and have, uh, you know, your finger not stretched out so far. And so there we go. I got mine all adjusted. And I like to have it so when I'm squeezing pretty hard, I got like a quarter inch before it hits my finger. That adds for the padding on the glove, and that's how I'll rock it probably this year. So my thoughts on this lever is uh, that's a great design. It's very strong. The plastic's pretty durable. It is spring-loaded, so I guess, I mean, if you didn't rock hand guards like me and you flopped her over in the snow or onto a stump it might flex and give and then you can just buy this part later to replace it if you ever did break it but uh, very durable design and really nice it probably weighs a little bit more but I'm not too concerned about that I can't wait to rock it this winter on this and on my boost when it shows up